Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Integrated Soul Activations with Patricia Elizabeth. This is Patricia Elizabeth, and I help spiritual entrepreneurs to heal their abundant story, awaken their spiritual gifts so they can make the impact that they're meant to make. So today during my meditation, the message that I got was, it's time for you to get back in alignment. And more specifically is stop saying you want this but then you're you're doing this so you're in in a major conflict with what you say that you want so i want you to look and see what is it in your life that you what actions are you taking and is it in alignment with what it is that you're asking so i'm just going to share a few examples so example could be saying you want to get paid for your gifts but yet either you're giving everything away for free or maybe you're not charging what you feel you should be charging then you're resenting it or maybe there's certain people that you're you're just giving your sessions away for free and it's not a win-win and you're coming to resent and then you're wondering like well why is this happening well and that nothing's flowing well if you're out of alignment so if you're saying you want a but then you do B and your actions don't match what you're saying, well, you're, you're automatically you're going to go out of alignment. So let me ask you this. Are you out of alignment in any areas of your life? So we'll talk about money. So let's say that you're saying that you want to get paid for your services, but yet you're giving everything away for free. Or maybe you're really not charging a price that you're comfortable. So you're really undercharging. Now, it's one thing doing... Um, offers as long as you're comfortable with the price but if you're not comfortable with the pricing or you're not comfortable with it then you have to make sure that what you want and what you do those actions come together because if not automatically you're going to go out of alignment so where can you so what is there an area of your life that you're out of alignment so for a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs what I'm noticing is that they'll say they want to get paid for their services yet either they're not gonna or i i want to i want to get i want to i want to have an actual business not an expensive hobby an expensive hobby is you you have a business but really you're not being paid for it or you're really you're not being paid for it so if you have a business and you don't have offers and you don't have paid paid clients not free clients um because a free client's not really technically a client a client somebody who pays you well then you're you don't have a business, right? So then you're out of alignment because you're saying that you have a business, but yet really what you have is an expensive hobby because really it's not a business until you start charging and people start to pay. Or I want to make money in my business, but yet you're the world's best kept secret. You don't share with people that there's ways for them to work with you, etc. Well, then that's going to make you go out of alignment because you're saying you want this, but yet your actions are totally different. So where can you go back into alignment? I know for me, I've had, uh, this was something, a lesson for me. So I've had a few people that basically, I gave them a really, really great deal, but they were just sucking my energy out of me because after our sessions were done, they kept like asking me a whole bunch of questions. And I mean, it, it get to a point was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And I'm like, why is this happening? And I'm like, well, wait a minute, I'm out of alignment because I'm saying one thing, but then I'm doing something totally different. So for some of you, you're out of alignment because you have the need to want other people's approval. That's been my, that was my case in this situation because I didn't want to upset the person. So I just did whatever because it was a close friend. Um, so that brought me out of alignment big time. So check in to see where are you saying something and then you're doing something totally different. And then check in, do you really want this? And if yes, then start taking, start acting as if this is what you are instead of acting something totally different. So hey, good morning, beautiful Kathy. So excited that you're here. So I want you to look today to see, and yes, I put down what, I don't want this. But really if your actions, because actions will speak louder than what you're putting out there. So if you're saying you want this, but your actions are here, well, this is what you're going to get, right? So, and then you're going to be like, well, I don't want this. 
well, maybe not. Maybe that's not really what you want, but your actions are speaking very clearly that this is basically what you want. And a lot of times for some of us, it could be maybe we want to be treated with respect, but yet we let certain people treat us like we're a doormat. That's been a major issue for me because once again, I wanted people's approval. So I wanted people to respect me, but yet I set, I would set no boundaries with them. So of course there was no boundary. So they were ended up disrespecting me and I was allowing it. But then I was like, but I want to be respected. So, but my actions and what I, what I wanted were two different energies, right? So make sure that you're in alignment with what it is that you want. And that's going to be able to help you a lot to be able to manifest. Because for some of you, that is a major block is you're out of alignment. What you're saying and what you're doing are two different things. So I want you to make the time to check check in to see are you in alignment? What you want and what you're doing, does it go hand in hand? Or is or what or what you want and what you're doing, is it too right opposite? Because if that's the case, you're totally out of alignment and you're not gonna get what it is that you say you want. You're gonna get what you're doing. So hopefully that's making sense with all of you. So Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my joy activation before we go. So for this part, make sure that you're in a safe place. If you're not in a safe place, that's fine. Just don't close your eyes. You will still receive the joy activation, but it works best if you're in a place where you can close your eyes. So if you're in a safe place, I want you to make sure you're sitting down, your back is straight, your feet flat on the floor. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, I want you to start to feel that all of your stress and tensions coming up in your body so that it can be released. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, just feel any stress or tension you're holding on to is starting to be released. And you're starting to feel lighter and lighter. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, just feel all remaining stress or tension that you're holding on to. It's being fully released. You're fully relaxed. It doesn't feel amazing being so relaxed that you can move with ease and joy. So I'm just going to run the joy activation. So divine source, please start to run the abundance light code joy now. Thank you. <coughs> and just feel your energetic vibration become a match of joy. So you're now vibrating at the same frequency of joy. And doesn't it feel amazing to experience joy? And just know it is safe for you to experience joy and you deserve to experience joy. So now you're going to start to feel the energy slowing down and just know this joy activation will continue to work in the background for a little bit so you can expect ongoing shifts. So now I want you to go ahead and take a deep breath in and feel yourself coming back into your body. Take another deep breath in and feel yourself being back fully in your body. You're fully aware of the room that you are in. Take another deep breath in and wiggle your hands and your feet and your body just to make sure that you're back. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in and open your eyes. So for those of you who are live, let me know what came up for you during the activation. And if you're watching the replay, let me know as well what's coming up for you um, because I always love to know wh what's going on for you. So. Really today, I want you to check to see where are you out of alignment? What is it that you say that you want, but your actions are doing something totally different? Because if that's the case for you, you're automatic, you automatically fall out of alignment and it's going to be really hard for you to be able to create what it is that you want. So feel lighter and great. Awesome. And I'm so excited you were here. So just enough, I have a private invitation for you. So in this week, 
today at um, 3 p.m. Pacific, which is 6 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow, which is Thursday, December 19, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then Friday at 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific, 3, um, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm doing some money clearing inside my free Facebook group. So I'll drop the link below. Please come and join me as well as I post it below. Um, I know, yeah, I have to look at the time because I'm still getting adjusted from Eastern to Pacific. So I would love to invite you to join me inside my free group called Integrated Soul Activation with Patricia Elizabeth. Like I said, I'll be doing some free money clearing. You will not want to miss that. So I'm going to wish you all a magical day. And we'll speak soon. So I'll be back in live here tomorrow at 1030 for another Integrated Soul Activations with Patricia Elizabeth. This is Patricia Elizabeth from thepatriciaelizabeth.com. Wishing you a magical day and speak to you all soon. Bye for now.